Well, we are on our way to the Breckenridge area to go skiing. Yeah, it's our first time taking the RV to go skiing. Although our test drive of living together in an RV was actually renting an RV in Canada and going around to a bunch of ski resorts up there. So this is a little nostalgic back to our early days. If we have any pictures, we'll put them right now. Yeah, I think we have a few. Uh, so yeah, up we go. Yes. From the warm <laughs> desert floor to 9,000 feet at Tiger Run Resort and we're just taking the 70 and it's... We stayed in St. George for a week and then we left St. George Friday night after I got off work at 4.30 and we drove to, where'd we go to? Richfield, Utah. Yep, which was a good haul for after work. We pulled in right as the sun was setting. It was perfect timing for us. Yeah. But trying to get this big haul from basically Quartzsite to uh, Breckenridge done. Yeah. It's our, probably our biggest haul of the year. Yeah. Especially, we planned this before gas prices started to skyrocket. Yep. But it's our vacation. It's going to be worth it. And um, hopefully we've got tons of beautiful video of the drive. This is an incredibly scenic drive for the interstate. We love Southern Utah. I mean, yeah, it, all of Utah. Yeah, all of Utah. <laughs> but I, I love especially Southern Utah. I think it's so open and beautiful. Now we're going into Southern Colorado, where Western Colorado, where we love so much too. So yeah, we've seen a little bit of snow like up in the tops of the mountains, but we're embracing for full on snow when we hit Breckenridge. So <laughs> wish us luck. We're full on propane. Yep. We're going to an RV park where we'll be able to be plugged in, running heaters all the time. So we're going to be just fine. We bought an extra space heater. Yeah, we and only, a shovel. Yeah, we only had one <laughs> space heater, so we want to be able to run a space heater at the very front part of the bus because the heat, even when it is running, doesn't really get up here that well, so. This is our first time going into snow on purpose. I'll put a link up here for the last time we got stuck in snow by mistake. Yep. And we did not have a shovel. No. <laughs> so you can see all the tools that we had to use we to broke, get snow off the bus. <laughs> we broke every tool we had. Yeah, so onward into the snow we go. Definitely. We just climbed Vail Pass. It was the most sustained climbing over a period of time that we've done that was at elevation. Six miles of sustained climbing and we're now at the summit, which is uh, almost 11,000. Yep. I think it's 10,000 something high. <laughs> yeah, the bus did great though, no overheating. We kept it in third gear most of the time and it did great. Yeah, so we just stopped at the rest area at the summit here, mostly because we are ahead of schedule <laughs> because we did a little bit better on the pass than we thought we would. And we're not used to having check-in times, but we're going to an RV park and you can't check in until one. Yep. So we decided we'll just have some lunch up here at the pass. And now we're gonna head down to Tiger Run and Breckenridge and start our ski vacation. Let's do it. Oh, it's like a ski mountain. That might be copper. Yeah, could be.
All right, I think we make a left here. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for a snowplow. Yep, but this back part is. Okay. I'll see you in a few. Bye. Thank you for the help. 